Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett at XLME. Welcome to our uh, discussion on chapter 14, doing a Swift iPhone project. Um, I'm gonna cover in this particular session um, how to use a protocol in delegates to accomplish what we need to do with our Swift application. So here's our Swift iPhone application. And again, this is in the chapter 14 of the source code. Um, for those of you that are listening, listening live or soon after this recording was made, Xcode 6.3 came out on Friday and had a bunch of changes with Swift 1.2, um, which will cause some compiler errors. So everybody's getting the same issue. So I'll update the source code this week so that um, those compiler errors are taken out of the code and repost that on my forum. Then also I'll send it in to uh, the publishers of the book so they get it fixed. All right, so let's go ahead and get started uh, with this. So here's the iPhone application. The book walks you through step-by-step step how to do it, but I'm gonna talk about the one part here, which is how to um, edit, delete, and add a new book. And there's a protocol for that. So let's say we wanna add, this is how it currently works. If you wanna edit or delete it, you click on the details of it. But if you wanna add a new book, um, A lot of pages on that. And I'll just put in the description here, save book, and here's our book added to it. So um, what I did was I used a protocol to capture the information in one view and send it back to another view. And where that's done in the code is in the add new book view controller, I added this protocol. Now, what a protocol does is it's like a class, only that it doesn't implement, it doesn't have the implementation for the functions that you declare. They just have what the interface looks like, what the declaration looks like. Okay, so now any class that conforms to the bookstore delegate um, has to implement these functions. And I do that in the master view controller. And here in the master view controller are new book, delete book, an edit book, okay, and how they're implemented. So at the very top here of our class, this is where you say your class is going to conform to that um, protocol. And if you don't have the implementation of those three methods, you'll get a compiler error saying, hey, you said you're gonna to conform to it and you're not. You don't, you don't have those uh, methods implemented yet. So if I do a search on delete new book, which is going to be in the, uh, where do I want to be on that? One second. Right here. Not there. right here. So what I do here is this is where I call the delete book. So I am here in the delete, the detail view controller. And in the detail view controller, I'm calling delete book. And the delete book here is in the master view controller. And that's where that delegate is coming from. I send to itself um, when it comes into this view. So now I can call the delete book that is back here in this guy, in the master view controller. And that will delete the book, okay? And that is all done right here. Where I set the delegate to self, then I have access to it in that view. And that is a very common design pattern for passing views from one, um, or information from one view to the next, all right? So for those of you that are attending live, I'll take questions right after I stop the recording here for the YouTube uh, viewers. Those of you that are watching through YouTube, you're welcome to attend live as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel by going to excelme.com and you can attend live at the, at the webinars here by clicking on um, free webinars or you can uh, click on my YouTube channel and subscribe and get notified every time I upload a new video. 
Thanks for attending live, everyone, and I'll take questions right after this recording is stopped.